folks, it's Controlled Explosion, back here with another video for the old Triumph. Uh, just got done with a quick ride, and I thought there would be a couple things in the box that I could pull the old girl into the shop and have a little bit of fun upgrading. I got some stuff been sitting here in the, in the box for a long time, some machine caps. This is cool. We got a nice little uh, oil pressure. So that'll go down here, I believe, and then hook on there and see if you can see your oil pressure. I think it's a nice piece. I always like to be able to see the physical oil pressure. The, the gauges are nice, the electronics are nice, but it's nice to have something like this. Uh, what else? I think we'll throw on some new levers. I'll probably do that first. That'll be pretty quick and easy. Um, and these ones are bit big, they don't go with the black aesthetic that I'm going for. And then I also need to put on bark clusters at some point and this shorter little lever will help with that to get some clearance. These are from Tech. A lot of this stuff is from Tech. I got a British Customs chain guard, that's pretty cool. Well I got a full shop kit, but we're probably not gonna do that today. So anyway, come along and uh, take a look at some of the modifications we're going to do and I don't have a camera person today or ever because I'm not a, uh, a bougie batch, but uh, I do think it's good to, uh, to show some of this stuff so people can see what can be done with Air Triumph as well, uh, which is always fun. Coming at you. I'm not good at editing videos, although I'm trying to learn two little bolts here. Uh, we can pull those off super quick. I'm going to use our good old farmer's friend rather than a proper spinner, as they say in England. But yeah, these things are not. Hopefully once they get a little bit loose, I can just finger on them. But I really should have a proper ready-to-go set of spanners. No, this one looks like it at some point got crossed over which is not good at all. Next, that's... Oh boy, that is you know, wiggling around like a worm in the rain, let me tell you that. Put the Joker machine caps on. Unnecessarily long screwdriver for the job. Oh fuck. That is the worst. Let me just drop a tiny little screw in the fucking crevice of that. I think, hopefully, I got one of these magnetic deals. I believe this thing is steel. I'll clear the engine this bad This little screw, yes. Success. It's like fishing, but for men. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I like fishing too. Um, I'm starting to strip it. I did have a tool around here beside myself. really cool because it would just pop in and pop out all the different screws. So I'll hold on while I find it. Is it really, you know, more functional? It's certainly a little lighter, but I mean, we're talking ounces. This doesn't matter on this bike, but it does look cool. So I figure this way could go well. I kind of want to see it with the tank on it. What do you think? That way? Or that way? I think this way. Yeah. Definitely that way. I don't know much about this video stuff. Yeah. That looks much better. 
installed like so. This is all stuff I need to fix. That's what that one looks like. That's what the other one looks like. Obviously, I think this is much more attractive. It has this nice adjustability. But if I take it out, all you have to do really is put a flat head here and then hold this nut down there and just pops right out. Nice and easy, but I think it already looks much better. It's locked in on the top here with these little channels, so you don't need to hold it down. You kind of have to pry it out this way, and then I turned it over like this, and there's this clear channel here, like that, and then it just pops out if you have two hands. And uh, I'll put the other one in. I do notice that there is this bronze brushing, and because of the force is exerted on the clutch, I bet you that has to go in the new one, but we'll find out. around, make sure it was in the channel, make sure the bushing was in the correct place, and it seems to work. Now I need to fit this back in it and then adjust it. But, I mean, just those two, what a difference, huge. Let's see if it works. I do have a fire extinguisher. In case something goes terribly, terribly wrong. This is plastic. I thought this was metal. Anyway, you get the idea. I'll uh, update you what it looks like when it's done. My girl at the time dropped it. That's not me. <laughs> but what a difference. I think it looks much more plastic. I like the knee pads. I'm going to keep those. Good friend, glue gone to get the rest of the junk done. I'll uh, cut to both sides being nice. Sure. So I just took off the chain guard, it's the old one, that's the new one. Now, I think when I got this, it was on sale or on eBay or something for like 60 bucks, I want to say. Could I have just taken this and hole sawed it? Yeah. And would it really have been much different? No. This is heavier, sure. And you know, obviously you can't do holes there, as you saw on the back. And this is one piece and it's nicer. Is it really worth 60 bucks? Or could you just get the hole saw? Eh, they're fine either way, I guess. I'm gonna put the new one on, show you how it looks. Alrighty, you saucy wenches. Let me tell you what's next on the docket. We're gonna put this bad boy in here. And I kinda wanna show this because I figured it out and I don't think a lot of other people show this online. So this banjo, 
goes into uh, that right there. If you can see where I'm touching. Um, basically, it's the it's where it's another oil pressure hole right here, this line. And then a long bolt goes through and you put them both in with crush washers. And then here on this stud is where this sucker goes in like that. Um, so I'm gonna install it and then maybe give it a kick in the guts and see if it works. Okay, so I just wanna show you something. I had to use this contraption to get in there to loosen, uh, see, loosen this nut. And now I can turn it because you can see someone had previously done something in here, I'm not sure what, and they rounded this sucker off. So because of that, I couldn't get a the correct size on it, just a socket over it didn't work. So now, finally, with that crow's foot, this thing's coming out. As you can see, it's basically, it's like, you know, someone really did a number on that one. So anyway, now we can put the other one on and uh, have a better time. going up about 20 psi um, you can see I'll, uh, I'll see if I can figure a way out Damned if she doesn't look a little better. Got the D badge. Gotta to... to clean that thing. Um, and then what we got? Uh, I painted this um, little enamel black. It's very cool. And J Cycles uh, oil meter. Got this. These old Joker machine shop deals on. I got that. The British Customs uh, cheese grater deal, which I think looks kind of nice. All in all, I think she definitely looks a lot better with some just small things. And uh, can't wait to go for a nice ride. Really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, you, I guess you could subscribe if you wanted, but I don't really make that many videos, so uh, do what you will. Appreciate it nonetheless. Um, hopefully I can figure out how to get some better camera equipment and kind of learn that so I can, you know, get the GoPros on the head and, <laughs> and the whole nine yards. So uh, give me a call when you get a chance. I'll talk to you soon. Appreciate all the support. Uh, thanks.